If you own an OM617 turbo diesel engine with the air cleaner housing mounted here on the engine, I'm going to show you a couple reasons why when you get these new rubber mounts like these, you don't just want to install them onto the bracket as they were at the factory. There's a couple things that you need to be aware of if you want these to last a long time. Now I just pull the air cleaner housing off this engine <laughs> And right away, look at this, this one's loose. And you can see where it's just been sitting here rattling around in the hole. It's enlarged the hole and also worn through that stud to the point where it's about to break off. Now over on this side, I just grabbed a hold of this one. It just broke off. And, and I see this is loose. And someone had caught this one in time, see, and they put a nut on the back side. But look, they just put a, a normal nut. I can feel it. Now putting a nut on the back side is a good idea, but it's too late if it's already worn the hole out like this. So the way to prevent these type of problems, number one, is every time you install one of these rubber mounts back on the bracket through the factory threaded hole, now I'm going to use the other hole here to demonstrate. And you can screw this down by hand, and this is how you'll find a lot of these. They'll just be tightened down like this, and that's okay. You know, it's nice and firm, but I tell you, at over time with the vibration that you're familiar with on these diesel engines, that thread starts to wear, and eventually the holes will elongate like you see here. So we provide in our kit not just a normal nut, but an elastic lock nut that you want to tighten this down first and then you come in and you lock it in place using this really high quality lock nut. Now you noticed earlier that this one just tore right off and that's usually due to vibration and heat. So we also recommend that you use these heat shields. Now if you put a heat shield on first and then you put the mount on and once again you're going to use that locking nut on the back side look what that heat shield does it helps to keep the heat from the turbocharger center section away from the rubber and that's going to extend the life on these mounts now these two are the most critical the aft one has a problem breaking off if you don't have the right bracket and i talk about that in another video but i just want to make you aware that any time you replace these rubber mounts for your air filter housing, use locking nuts and use heat shields. 